name is Rakhis Gupta and I'm from AutomationChampion.com. This is my first video blog post. So in this I'm going to discuss my last article that I have written a few months back. Getting started with Process Builder part 55 post to chatter feed of related record. Chatter is a great way to boost collaboration in your organization. Few months back I have written an article getting started with Process Builder part 13 post to chatter. In that I have discussed a use case. Whenever an event is created for the public calendar, post a detail to a chatter group using the process builder. Process builder allows us to post a message to a specific feed, such as to a chatter group, a user's feed, or a record in which you have started the process. This article goes a step ahead and explain how someone uses Flow and Process Builder to post to chatter feed up related record. Let's start with a business use case. Donna Sardola is working as a system administrator in Universal Container. She has received a requirement to post opportunity detail with its link to a related accounts feed. Whenever an account gets created with an amount greater than 100k. Okay, so there are a few possible solutions of the requirement that we have discussed. Uh, but I will use Process Builder and Flow to solve it because my main aim is to show the power of Process Builder to you guys. Before proceeding ahead, you have to understand the feed item object in Salesforce. Feed item object represents an entry in the feed, such as changes in a record feed, uh, including text post, link post. And content post. Now follow the instructions that I'm going to demonstrate on the screen to create a flow and process builder for the our business use case. So in the quick find type flow here, and under the need of workflow and approvals, you can see the flow. Just click on it. So this is a flow management phase. From there, you can edit, modify existing flow and either you can create a new flow and you can also manage pause and waiting interviews so our intention is to create a new flow so just click on the new flow here so it will redirect us to the flow management page sorry flow canvas from where you can create modify existing flow so we have to create few variables to store value like account name opportunity id and then opportunity name so we have to first create three variables as mentioned so to create a variable go to the resource tab here and you can see that there are few resources available our aim to create a variable so double click on it so it will pop up a window that allow you to create variables so just type in the name here You can set the data type and then input and output, make it to input and output. It allows you to input the value into this variable and get the value from this variable. And default makes you the empty string. Likewise, create two more variable. data type input and output okay so our next target is to post a message to account feed whenever opportunity amounts is more than 100k at the time of creation. To create a feed on account, we have to use record create element. So record create element is basically allow you to create a single record. So double click on just drag and drop this record create element onto the palette here. Now it allows you to enter the name. So you can change this name as per as you want now you have to select which object you want to create so that is feed item in our case now you have to pass value to two few variables first is 
and then next is link url next parent id where you want to post this message and then title title that you want to use for the link post and the type is type of post you want to create here so body you can type any message here <coughs> so i'm typing an opportunity gets created with amount more than 100k you can change this message next is the link url the link url is basically you have to post the url with your link post so whenever a user click on that url it will open the opportunity so you can see you can copy or paste your salesforce url from that the top you can save to mine and a 17 dot salesforce dot com you can copy paste from you and then here you have to construct the url so we are we have to display the opportunity url so first pass opportunity id here and then move your cursor here and then type up maxless and then copy paste your url you can see i am hard quoting here and 17 it might be possible you are developing this flow in your sandbox and that is CS something and you are deploying this to either APEC server, EMEA server and NA17 server. So in case if you want to dynamically fetch this instance name, what you can do, you can use a record lookup element and in that use the organization object from where you can dynamically fetch instance name. And then parent ID where you want to post this message on which object. So in our case, we want to post it to the account. So pass it the account ID. What is the title? So title is nothing but the opportunity name that we want to use for link title. And which kind of post it is? It's a link post. That's it. Finally, you can see that if you want to save this newly created feed item, record it in somewhere in some variable that you can use it but i don't we don't want to use we don't want to save that variable so just click on the ok now next step is to set a start element in the flow you have to say mention from where you want to start your flow so just move your cursor into this element and you can see there are the error mentioned in the green just click on it it means you have set as a start element and now you have to save this flow so to save this flow you have to enter the name post to chatter feed off Post to chatter feed of related record and make sure that you have selected type flow we have another type is called as flow that is basically when you want to manually launch a flow in our case we want to use process builder to automatically launch this flow to so select type auto launch flow and click on the ok and click on the ok because we don't have uh, just ignore this warning message that say that post to chatter element is not connected to anything because we have only single element here remember one point if flow does not have any start element you cannot able to activate it that is our next step so now close this flow canvas and you can see there is an activate link here if flow does not have an start element it won't allow you to activate a flow it means you won't able to see your activate link so just click on the activate link so this is the first part we have achieved next is process builder so we have to create a process builder to launch this flow so in the quick find type your process builder so again you can see the link underneath of the workflow and approvals click on it so this is the same as flow management page this is a process management page from where you can add so you can add a new flow you can add date or delete existing flow 
So we want to create a new flow, sorry, new process, sorry. We want to create a new process, just click on the new and enter the name here. Close to chapter fade off related records process builder and description log 55 now you see here why i am mentioned for pv so there is a unique thing you have to understand flow behind the process there is a flow and in the flow i have used the name post to chatter feed up related record so the unique id for that flow is this and if I use the same name for the process, so it won't allow you to save because process and flow don't have same name. You have to make it unique. Now click on the save. Okay. Next step is to you have to select object in which you want to define your process. So click on the object and select opportunity here. Okay, now you have, when you want to start your process, there are two options. Either at the time of creation or either at the time of create or edit. So we have to select when record is created and click on the save. Next step is we have to define the process criteria. It means you have to verify that process, your opportunity has at least uh, uh, your process, sorry, your opportunity has an account and amount greater than 100k so click on this add criteria options and enter the name amount greater than 100k first of all you have to make sure that your opportunity contains an account that then only you can post a message to account for that click on the find and field here and select account ID from here. That is the second one. And is null, false. So we want to make sure that the process has valid account. And then click on the add row to add one more row. And again click add find a field. And this time we want to add amount field here. Amount greater than equal to its currency field. So type 100k. That's it. Now click on the save. Our next step is to add an immediate action that allows you to post a message to a related account. We have already created a flow for that purpose. So what we have to do, we have to call that flow. So to do that just click on add action here then select action type flows enter the name you can change the name as you want and you have to select the flow so it will display all the auto launch flow if you have more than 10 or 15 flow you can type the name and it will display all the related flow matching with that name now next step is to the set flow variable it means you have to pass the opportunity value to flow variable so click on add row and select account id and then add row select opportunity id and then opportunity name if you want to hard code the value you can set a string if you want to dynamically pass account id or opportunity id or opportunity name then select reference here now find a field and select account ID. We want to dynamically pass the account ID here. Same for the opportunity ID. And amount here. Sorry, name. And then click on the save. And finally, you have to activate this flow process and click on the confirm. Okay, to test this flow, click on the back to setup button and go to the opportunity. Click a new opportunity here. 
and into the opportunity name blog 55 test uh, select an account here blood company and you can select close it here 27th of June this is prospecting amount 150k that is more than 100k and click on the save now navigate to the account here blood company and you can see here the in account sorry opportunity gets created then you can see the message and you can see the blog like opportunity name and this url if i click on this opportunity url you can see the opportunity gets uh, you need to to this opportunity thank you